Shalom, shalom. Salakia, once again, I'm, I want to make um, another part as there's, there was um, a certain thing I said that I didn't really expound upon. So I'm going to do that right now. And the thing that I wanted to expound upon is um, the fact that no one is exempt from your from their obligations. Okay. Now, in that, I mentioned how he... Um, Byakuya, Byakuya was, you know, trying to be, to lead as an example and say, okay, you know, my sister broke the law, so she has to be put to death because that is what they had um, ordained or they had decided as a punishment for her crime, okay? Now, I mentioned him, but I didn't really mention, you know, about Yawashai, okay, because, you know, Slightly, I was so slightly disorganized, but I'm going to go into it right now. Um, John chapter 11, verse 50. Nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people and that the whole nation perish not. Okay, so it is... Um, Slokia, yeah, where was it? Oops. But uh, basically, there, okay, perfect. Uh, verse 51 And this spake he not of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Yahawashai should die for that nation. And no, verse 52 And not for that nation only, but that also he should gather together in one the children of Yahweh that were scattered abroad. So the Yahweh Shai, okay, he was prophesied to uh die and that and that 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 was basically his duty and he could not have um what's the word? He could not have um escaped that duty. Alright? And another thing um, I there perfect. Huh, okay. So an another thing that I want to bring up is um Yahweh Shai being okay Slaki let me let me give it give an example so uh, say for example um you are being disrespected by your um a, a coworker a, a coworker that's in a lower position than you okay they're being disrespected not even just anyone in general okay someone who you have power over okay that's that's that was that's basically well that's basically i'm how i'm going about this okay you have power over someone that person wrongs you or disrespects you or whatever and you have the power to destroy beat punish whatever to them okay but you don't okay that that's where um that's where um uh you know this comes in the the comparison comes in he has the he he has the power to you just you know stop the execution you how a shy had the power to literally murk every slakia word about well, the wording but yeah kill everyone that was casting his lots spitting on him pulling on his beard and all these things basically the people that were crucifying him okay he had the power to kill them but he didn't okay that that's that's the self control that's the whole choosing your duty over your metaphoric family in this um instance as i was as i tied, titled this video quote unquote family not family as in your fa your actual family but family as in um 
what family represented to him, which was, you know, breaking the law. So uh, I, I don't really know the word, how to word it, is your own personal thing. So that's why I said, quote unquote, family over your obligations and the law. The law set in place for us or for said person in said scenario. Okay, so uh, yeah, it, it, again, in John 11, it says that Yahushai had to die. And in Matthew chapter 27, verse 35, and they crucified him and parted his garments, casting lots that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vestures did they cast lots. And and sitting down, they watched him there, verse 37, and set up over his head and his accusation written, This is Yahweh Shai, the king of the Jews. Then were there, were there two thieves crucified with him, one on the right and, one on, and another on the left, and they passed by, reviled him, wagging their heads, and saying, Thou that destroyed the temple and built it in three days, save thyself if thou be the son of Yahweh come down from the cross okay so over here they're like i was saying they were um uh, they were taunting him they were disrespecting him okay and he had again he had the power he had the power to kill them all have the angels come and do it do it himself you know he had um he, he had power okay he, he's not he's not just some regular guy he he actually had power the, I remember the the there's one story one instance what where is it um I cannot remember the exact wording but basically Oh man, that's unfortunate. But basically, um, the thing is, there was the, the instance that I'm talking about was when Yahweh Shai was uh, in um, on a boat with his disciples, and then there was a huge storm that was about to, you know, destroy their boat. But they and his disciples woke Yahweh Shai up and said, "Oh my God, we're about to die!" and blah blah, blah all the stuff like that. And, um, and, and then he, and he got up, he kind of, he, he got up annoyed, he got out in the thing and then just said, Hey, storm, stop over there, over there. <laughs> like, like, like that, that's, that's partially an exaggeration, but partially a lit literally what he did. He just, he basically bitched the, the, um, the hurricane. Okay. I really need to find that. Where is it? Dang. I hope I find that. Um, Salakia. I really need to find that. Oh, uh, man. Salakia. But basically... Maybe I should look in my inside of my um physical copy. I might be able to find it. Abaratza. Cuz you know, I I I know I definitely uh marked it in my thing. Because that was literally one of the craziest things I've ever heard. I, I Before I came into this truth, I never even knew he was like that. Obviously, the, you know, be, before being coming into this truth, people hear all these things about, oh, oh, he was a soft man, all this stuff like that, when, that, when that's not even the case.
nothing in here. Huh. Oh, you know what? I believe. I think I, I, I know a word that might. This might be it. Nope. Okay. Uh, after a few more pages, flipping through pages, I'm going to just go back to the point. I don't want to make this edition too long. But, um, huh. that's unfortunate. I don't think I can find it. So I guess I'm just going to go back into the point that I was doing. Yeah. Okay, slot here. Okay, yeah, I can't find it. It's lucky. So, um, as I was saying, let me get my notes out because I wrote notes. Okay, so basically there's no special treatment is what is, um, uh, um, what is being said. So, if Yahweh Shai had to go through some very trying stuff, Um, I get whatever, just write it down. John, John 13, 16. John 13, verse 16. Verily, 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 I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. Okay, so. I could get it's going back it going it goes back into the hierarchy of the most high is at the top, then it's Yahweh Shai, then it's the men. Okay? So we are the servants, we're not greater than our Lord Yahweh Shai. If Yahweh Shai just exemplified himself from having to go through um if slack let me rephrase that. If Yahweh Shai didn't if Yahweh Shai did didn't, did not exemplify himself from having to go through the pains and struggles that he went to of being humiliated and disrespected and beaten and tortured and all that. Because we are not greater than Yahweh Shai, we have to be willing to go through the same things, and we have to go through the same things, and that's why we're in our captivity right now. Okay, so. Don't think that, don't think that, oh, just because, oh, uh, suck it. Don't think, oh, the the Lord's going to have mercy on me. He's, I don't, I'm not going to go through all that whole, um, I'm not going to go through 
Jacob's trouble and stuff like that. No, that's 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 wrong. We're we're we have to go through it. Okay, the servant is not greater than his lord. All right, if Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai made himself an example. He went through it. He went through it. So that means we have to go through it as well, being good servants to you know because again it's like it says the servant is not greater than his lord if the lord had to take it the servant has to take it as well all right now finally um matthew chapter 4 for from the top then then was yahweh led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil and when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward hungered, hunger, hung, hungered. He was hung, hungry, basically hungry. Verse three. And when the tempter came to him, he said, "If thou be the son of Yahweh, command that these stones be made bread." Okay. And again, it is just it's more it's it's basically this is basically a show that Yahweh shy again he could. Break all the quote unquote laws of physics, laws of the world, the natural laws like, you know, turning lead into gold, making rocks into food. You know, he could have made the rocks into a full course meal or whatever. He could make a blade of grass into an entire buffet or, or something like that. And basically, he, he could have done whatever he had wanted. Okay, he could perform miracles, but he didn't. He didn't when he was being tempted by the devil, and he didn't do it to deliver himself when he was being crucified. Okay, that is the example. Okay, that's the example that I'm trying to show in here. He has both. He Yahweh Shai in his instance had the power to, you know, stop, stop the people from crucifying him and for him he being a noble i'm sure he could have you know made done pulled a few strings in order to um get his sister i think the word is exonerated or just wipe the slate of her um of her crimes off but he didn't okay that and again both both he and Yahweh Shai are trying to to be good examples. They're not they're not trying to they're not they're not breaking the law just because it's convenient for them. Okay, they have the power to, but they won't. But they refuse to do so. All right, and that's that's basically what I wanted to bring out. And I hope this lesson was edifying. I hope you understand that. Yes. Slucky, I hope you understand that Yahweh Shai, not only Yahweh Shai, but anyone in power that has the self control to, self control and discipline to not, you know, go breaking the law, breaking, breaking the, not even just breaking the law, but breaking, uh, or not trying to fulfill their obligations. That's, that's a very powerful thing. Yes, you can, you have the, you have the capability of doing so. Okay, and which is something that I personally have to work on. Okay, yeah, there are some time, there are some instances where you're able to unleash your wrath on someone, but you know you have to be able to control yourself and contain that wrath. All right, and with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, double honesty to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and with that, I want to say shalom.